Good morning and welcome to today's episode of Mobility Monday. I'm Jeff Blanchard and I'm coming to talk to you from Salem, Oregon, from uh, my clinic at Therapeutic Associates. And Bart and I are both talking about different ways that you can use to uh, uh, deal with the pain that you might be having, live a better quality of life, help you keep moving, or maybe prepare for that next uh, physical activity that you'd like to be doing. Today's topic is a little bit about what is a strong core or what exactly is your core? So the core, I think many people have the notion or the idea that the core is basically this, that this is your core, so it's mainly your abs. I'll have people come in and say, I'm trying to have a strong core because I want to have a good back. So I'm doing crunches and I'm doing sit-ups and I'm doing planks and I'm doing all these things to try to keep my core strong. And yet for some reason, it doesn't really help my back. My back pain's just getting worse. So that is probably because some of the core exercises that you're there doing aren't the best. And then also because their back pain that they're having doesn't need that muscle right there to be as strong as they're trying to make it. So but let's go back to the main topic of what exactly is a strong core. Your core is basically your more inner muscles that keep, your, keep the integrity of your trunk. So you've got core muscles on the front, you've got core muscles on the sides, you've got core muscles in the back. So let's talk a little bit about the front core or the anterior core. So your abdominals, you have four layers of the abdominals. So you have your external, most external layer, that's your six pack layer that you might want to show off to your friends if you happen to have a six pack. Under that layer, you have a layer that goes in this direction here. This is your external oblique. Below that layer, you have a layer that goes up in this direction here. That is your internal oblique. And then below that, you have a layer that goes across to this direction here. That is your transversus abdominis. So each layer, those muscles travel in different directions because muscles pull to hold in that direction. Now your core is going to do a better job for your body when it can contract and hold you instead of just pull you forward like a sit-up does. So sit-ups tend to mostly just kind of increase your rectus abdominis, the outer muscle, makes it thicker and more showy. So people do sit-ups because they want to show off that muscle, and yet sit-ups don't really help your body a whole lot because um, they oftentimes miss some of those deeper muscles. Plus, if you're doing a sit-up or a crunch, this direction lying on your back, if you've had any troubles right in through the center of your body, let's say if you've been pregnant before and so your belly has expanded because you've carried babies, or if you're carrying extra weight, the two sides of those muscles can separate apart and create what's called a diastasis recti. And a diastasis recti is basically a little bit of a failing of the tissue that, that connects those two sheaths of muscle. If that's something that's going on in you, you you'll notice because if you go to do a crunch, you'll see this ridge poke straight out in this direction. So if that's going on for you, don't, you probably don't want to be doing crunches and sit-ups. You want to actually hold that together and keep that together if you're going to be doing something like this so it doesn't continue to pull apart. That is actually something that physical therapists will treat. If that's something that's going on for you, you could always look at coming in to see us so we can teach you some things to deal with that. So that's more of your anterior muscles. The muscles around the sides, again, those are more your obliques, which is what we talked about before. But then there's your, the backside, your posterior core. So you have muscles that travel along your spine. Those muscle groups are called your erector spinae muscle groups that go all the way down. And then you get down to the deepest muscle layer, and that's the muscle that we call the multifidus. And that muscle we talk about a lot with our patients because oftentimes when people come in with chronic back pain, that muscle is not working. In fact, it typically shrinks way down and gets really small and so it atrophies. And so they're not able to create enough stability in their spine, which would keep their spine from shifting in the wrong direction when they move. 
I will say that it's more common that I'm teaching my patients how to find the muscles of their posterior core more often than the muscles of their anterior core. Because if you go back to a couple episodes, we talked about anterior chain, posterior chain. Usually it's the posterior chain that's weak and the anterior chain that's tight, this posture. And so the abdominal muscles tend to not be that weak. Sometimes they're doing okay, but they're just, they're shortened and it's the backside of the body that needs to be strengthened. Probably one of the most important muscle groups of your core is your buttock. Now your buttocks, you don't think about buttocks when you think about core because you kind of think about core around the middle. But the buttocks really, in my opinion, form the foundation of your core. If you don't have adequate buttock strength, then you're gonna tend to over move through your spine because you're cheating your hips uh, because you don't tend to move through those hips en uh, enough. And so in moving, instead of moving through your hips and using your buttocks to be strong this way, you move through your trunk and then you end up stressing out the low back. So buttock strength is going to be a really important part of what you want to develop when you're working on your core. So tune in next time when we meet again for our next Mobility Monday and we'll talk about some great exercises for you to address some of these core muscle groups. And make sure that you don't forget that motion is lotion. <laughs>